Guys, I'm on an adventure. Welcome to my first vlog. I'm gonna take you to my new house. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna go check out. Um, we actually haven't told anybody um, beyond our like close, super close friends uh, about this place, but Kirsten and I, right, babe? Right, babe? Kirsten and I have purchased our first house. Together. Together. Now, Kirsten's purchased a house before. This is my first house. Yes. So, uh, we're gonna take you on an adventure and we're gonna go check out the crib. It's like MTV Cribs. Welcome to our crib. Welcome to our crib. Our crib. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. Brandon is telling me that these appliances are apparently really good. Sub-zero appliances, so take, cool. take a look inside of our fridge. You like that? It's pretty fucking empty, right? It's because there's nothing in here. We just bought it. You, you want bags of popcorn or anything like that? Like when you have food in the fridge that is too cold for you to eat, you're gonna put it in the microwave and that's the one we're gonna use right here. Come on out here. So this is the living room slash dining area. You know what I just thought about? For PT Dom events, we could be teaching two different things. There could be like, uh, upstairs we could be teaching something and then downstairs we could be teaching something. You could have literally different sessions. Yeah. And the people like rotate. Or like outside, so then you could have outside. More than 50 people. Babe, I've never gone down the staircase before. No, me either. But it's it's like, it's shallower here, which is weird. It's deepest in the middle. This is my house. This is your motherfucking house. This is my fucking house, dog. Thank you. Fucking stuff. Good job. Thank you. Oh, all that hard work paying off. Brandon was saying we'd probably fit 50 people in here. Uh, I think the only people that would stay in the house would be like the coaches. Ken coaches and shit. Other than that, we would just partner with like a local like hotel. Yeah, get a discount. Yeah, or like the Cove or something like that and get all of them to stay at the Cove so they can have a little community and then they can come here and then they can leave. All right guys, that's a wrap. So that's the house. Yeah, I think super, super pumped on it. Honestly, it doesn't really feel like real yet. It's almost like I'm, I was like, I feel like there's like this feeling of like waiting for something bad to happen. It's like, it's like, unfolding and everything's working out and it's like a little bit of a surreal feeling um so i think it'll feel more real as we like actually start to move into it so it's fucking going now man it's pretty fucking crazy so i'll keep you guys updated um this vlog is basically to show you guys the journey of uh of the new evolutions i feel like this is the next phase of my life and i'm fucking excited to take you guys on an adventure let's go Okay, welcome to my YouTube. It's your boy, Ben Mark Fit. I am about to jump on a meeting with um, Brayden and Cole. So we're basically brainstorming um, the documentary that we're filming. And uh, so you guys are gonna watch the brainstorm come to life. We're filming a documentary about our gym opening up. So what up, Brad? How are you? Good, how are you? Fucking good, man. So let's fucking brainstorm. Let's make some shit happen. So, Brain, I, I just want to hear like an update. Like, where are you at? Like, where's your head at? Like, where's like the project at? I just want to hear, hear from you first and then we'll brainstorm. The furthest we've gotten so far, what I've gotten is just going through the footage that we have and kind of grabbing clips that I think we could use or think, you know, that we're not going to use. Um, the next step is going to be finishing off some of the different shots that I know we're going to need. We still need to really focus on what's the, what's the, uh, the the point. What's the what are we what are we portraying with the show? Um, okay, so I personally think that the angle should be about overcoming adversity and and chasing your dreams because we opened up a gym in the middle of the biggest pandemic uh, in the fucking world. I want the opening to smack. Yeah, yeah. Which I think those those shots that we got of you just chilling, or the, the interview story, are the ones that will do that. I think it would be like I would want to do like a short edit. So like being something like uh, seven years ago, I was addicted to drugs. I almost lost my life, and and I was at rock bottom. At, and and today I just purchased a gym, and then that's how the movie kind of starts, and then it can clip into like the gym. So I think that I think that it's important to like jump in with a smack. And like, and like, yo, seven years ago, I was rock bottom, addicted to drugs, almost got killed by a drug dealer, and today I purchased a gym. And then Welcome to Iron Energy is almost like the beginning. Here's what I'm thinking is like, okay, the intro cuts to us doing renovations and then uh, walking us through shit. And then at that point, um, then we can do interviews to fill in those gaps. So right. be like, honestly, on that day, like we were like all like, we were like, su like su we can interview as if we were in that moment. So we'll start it off. And then every time we show someone new, we'll bring their segment in of their, a little bit of background of who they are. And that will be, yeah, okay, okay. 
Um, so I also think that we don't just want to have footage of just us doing shit. I think it's important to talk about the adversities that we were kind of going through as we were like doing all the shit. So uh, some of the big things that we can write down right now is like super fucking long hours. Like we were working like 16 to 18 hours a day, like getting this thing off the ground. Personal conflicts, like there was uh, conflicts with some of the uh, other uh, gym owners in the area. Um, in terms of like uh, not seeing eye to eye and having to like build a relationship with the people that were in our environment because some people weren't happy that we were moving in. Talking about the run-ins with the fucking, uh, the government of BC, like the mask mandates and uh, have, and we, maybe we can even interview the uh, the manager about like how she had to like, you know, basically play along with WorkSafe BC to make sure that we didn't get shut down. So for each one of those fucking uh, segments, let's just do highlight a person to talk about it. So yeah, so pretty much every category we filmed, we'll just do sit down interviews with specific people who that category relates to most, have them discuss why, and then we can kind of cut back and forth from the B-roll or the shots of that day to the person then speaking about it. So that, yeah, that, that will make this day. Okay, I think that's pretty good, man. I think yeah. that gives me a good, uh, a good idea of where to start things. So I'm gonna get started on the intro actually right away and, and get that cracking. Dude, this man, I'm pumped. This is gonna be, I think it's gonna be sick. I think we got a lot of cool stuff. People are gonna be amped on it. I think if we can hit all those things and like tell the storyline of overcoming adversity, it's gonna be a fucking good documentary. Well, that was fun. Um, so we are fucking good. We've literally been putting together this documentary for the last, it's been like seven, six months. So as soon as we took over the gym, um, I started working on it. I started putting together this like storyline of, uh, well, I actually didn't know what the fuck I was doing at first, to be honest. <laughs> paid, I, I told Braden, I'm like, yo, I want you to film a documentary. We just decided on a price and we just started moving forward. So um, now we're kind of brainstorming the storyline and we're kind of like brainstorming how we're gonna make it work. So I feel like we kind of got a good handle on it. And uh, yeah, it's fucking documentary time. Let's get it done, son. Moving on, we're on to the next thing. So the next thing on my list is to uh, finalize my Young and Ambitious project. So Young and Ambitious um, is a project where I'm taking 14 to 18 year old youth that are in Kelowna area and I basically put them through this like 12 week long mentorship program and at the end of the mentorship program I'm giving away a $10,000 scholarship to one of the kids who proves himself to be the most young and ambitious. And so it's been uh, a process of working with these kids really closely and uh, showing them how to work out, how to eat healthy, how to develop healthy habits. Um, so they work out in the gym twice a week and then after they're done working on the gym, I give them a success talk. So me, Cole, or whoever else is helping me with the project. So the person who is basically gonna win this, is, his name's Marcus, it's been 12 weeks. The second weekend of the program, there was, uh, I basically gave them a project to complete a vision board. So I told them to go out, uh, buy a, uh, um, a cork board, get a bunch of, um, you know, things that inspire them, like quotes, pictures, etc. Cut them out, put them on this vision board. So one of the kids, um, he was like struggling to afford to buy all the things. So Marcus literally messaged me and he's like, yo, I need um, his name's Instagram. I'm like, why? He's like, I'm gonna buy him all the stuff for the vision board. I'm like, why are you gonna do that? He's like, well, man, I just feel like it's like my responsibility. Like, I just wanna help him. And I thought that was so cool. Um, and that was only one of the many things that Marcus has done. Like he's the first, he's like show, always shows up on time. He always works the hardest. He's always cheering everybody on. He's doing the work that I'm telling him to do at home. And I just like feel like he is, he's going to be extremely successful and I wanna reward that. And obviously everybody in the program is successful, but the truth is like in life, like the people that I like, put in the most work and are like the most consistent, um, are rewarded and so um, I want to make sure that I tell Marcus that he did an incredible job and I want to reward him with the scholarship. For all the other kids in the program, I want to continue to support their success and so I'm going to be sponsoring their gym membership for the entire year with a condition. I'm like, the only condition is that if you don't use it, you lose it. So if they don't check in for a workout for a month, they lose their membership. So that's my condition. So uh, Marcus, um, I asked him to send me uh, his parents' phone number and they, he did. I just want to make sure that I got this right before I fucking tell him. Your son won $10,000. That'd be awkward, right? Hello? Hello? Uh, is this me, Ling? Uh, no. This is Marcus. Oh, where's your mom? Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I work, I think. We're just on our way to the gym. Oh, do you know who this is? Yeah, Brian. <laughs> She's at work? Yeah. Why do you have her phone? I don't have her phone, Brian. Yeah, you do? <laughs> what? 
Oh shit. I, I gave you her number. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, that's, I'm so glad we got that for YouTube. That's amazing. Hello. Hi, is this Mei Ling? Yes. How are you, Mei Ling? I'm good, thank you. Uh, this is Brian uh, Mark. I am the uh, coordinator of the Young and Ambitious program that Marcus has been in. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm calling you and I, you can't give this away, but I figured I should probably tell you first before I tell Marcus. Oh, oh okay. Um, yeah. I'm giving Marcus $10,000. Oh my God, you know what? <laughs> he is very, you know, he, he said, well, he told me yesterday, he said, Mom, I am going to win, he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. He said because uh, he said I worked really hard. He said I he was invested though. Like yeah, and I, I know. have to be honest with you, Brian. From day one, he was invested. Like your that draw was he was like I am going to try to get a moment. We talked. I said you know what? There's lots of other kids there, Marcus. Yeah. And so we were kind of like, don't get your hopes up. But yeah. he, even today, he said I'm going to Brian's. We have one more session tomorrow. That is very very awesome, uh, Brian. Um, I really appreciate the time you took to groom these young guys and to, to do that. Working with the boys is like an escape for me. It's like I just yeah. get to be with them, be fully present, like have a good time. Like it's just like a. Yeah. Yeah, it's an honor. And I really do think that Marcus has something special. I think yeah. he's gonna be like a really, like a really powerful man one day. And I think that if I would have had somebody like me come into my life at that time yeah. and, and tell me that, I think it would have been um, like a big difference. And I'm super, super excited for tomorrow. Get ready for Marcus to be a happy, happy oh, boy. he's gonna be so happy. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much, Brian. Okay, you're welcome. Have the best day okay, ever. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, my heart is exploding with joy. Woo! I just changed the life! Yeah! He's gonna piss himself tomorrow. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh! What's up? I didn't even see there. Weird. Just looking at the bushes. Got our check. It's a young and ambitious $10,000 scholarship check. I don't, I don't know why I'm nervous to give away money. It's weird, right? So I guess I haven't told you guys what Young and Ambitious is and what it's all about. So let's do that right now. So um, essentially when I was younger, I didn't have like a like a male role model, like a strong male role model. Like I didn't meet my dad until I was 26 years old. Um, my mom had me choose 17 and so when I was younger, I found myself getting into like a lot of drinking and partying and I didn't really have that like person that was like, I looked up to and I wanted to be like. And so um, the highlight of my childhood basically and like when I found my role models was when I went to a summer camp and I found this dude and his name was Kinger and I really looked up to him and I wanted to be more like him. And so like, as um, once I met Kinger, I started to like basically like act like him when I was like 13, 14. And so I decided like when I got older that I wanted to be that sort of mentor for others. And I started doing it when I was younger. Like I became a summer camp counselor as well, just like Kinger. But then as I got older, I was like, I want to do this on like a bigger level. And like, I told myself that once I got successful, I really wanted to like actually give back. And so um, when I purchased the gym, I decided I was going to start the youth mentorship program. And I like always wanted to do it. And I just, I just made a decision that I was like actually going to make it happen. Workout today, so I want you guys to give your very best effort, go all out, yes, and at the end of the workout, we're going to be announcing the scholarship winner. Who's excited? Yes, Let's go! Young and ambitious on three. One, two, three. Young and ambitious. Woo! Uh, everybody that works at Young Ambitious now is going to be sponsored by and or higher energy for a gym membership for the rest of the year. For all of you guys, all of you guys have been in the gym membership, but I have one condition. Ask me what the condition is. What's the condition? Ask me what the condition is. What's the condition? The condition is if you don't use it, you lose it. So if I don't see checking for money, take away your membership. Yep. Is that fair? That's good. If you don't use it, you lose it. So now the man will be here. The grand reveal. Um, this honestly, this is a funny, this is a funny situation because I feel like in life it's like it's the effort, the consistency, and the camaraderie. It's the uh, the willingness to show up every single day and be a leader. It's the willingness to speak up and, and be first. It's the willingness to never miss a workout. It's the willingness to like encourage others. It's the willingness to be coachable. It's the willingness to ask questions. It's the willingness to like go above and beyond and do more than is expected. And this person did that. 
every single day, every single workout from the second they got here. And it is an absolute honor to let you guys know that the winner of the $10,000 scholarship is Marcus. Babe, you got your phone?